Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 5 of the Pokemon Blue playthrough here on the Pocket Mark channel. We begin just outside Mount Moon. We obtained a level 5 Magikarp last episode, in which this episode we are going to train up to get to close to level 20 as possible. To do so, we're going to go through Mount Moon this episode, leading with Magikarp and switch training it as highly as we can. Because it's not very useful at all up until it becomes level 20. I can't, I can't teach TMs to Magikarp, can you? Uh, Alright, okay, fine, fine, fine. I got slightly excited then when I saw the Add Water Gun, but... Realised that I can't... Um, I can't teach it to Magikarp, but so... Oh well. Uh, well, let's just begin with um, getting a little bit of experience for Magikarp with the wild battle. I was hoping not to get too many wild battles, really, but they are all trigger areas inside caves. So anywhere could be a battle. It's not like patches of grass. 38 experience. Got to get to him for a battle. I am not suspicious, sir. Weedle. Oh, don't get poisoned. Let's go, Charmillion. I'm not too sure how long this episode is going to be. I am planning on getting out of this cave the other end at the end of this episode. So please bear with me as it will probably be a longer one than usual. Whilst we're defeating the Weedle. Quite thankful that last episode both the video and the voiceover quality was very good for my standards, let's say. Um, quite happy with how last episode went. Quite a dramatic upturn in quality in comparison to episode 1 and 2. I'm hoping that you're all enjoying watching it as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And if you are, please do leave a like. All the support I can get is very much welcomed and any subscriptions that I may get and bells on are also very very welcomed. Either way if you're just watching the video that support is enough for me and I thank you for doing so. And another wild battle. I might just skip all the wild battle. I can't can I? Cause I'll try and run. I'm not too sure if it'll let me run because Magikarp's speed is pretty much zero. Oh! I should get away against a Zubat. So I'll, I'll be a friend. Because I want a battle. I want the experience. Look at the fairy. Look at the fairy. I have had some new additions to the microphone as well. So I'm hoping that the quality is even better than it was in the last episode. Fingers crossed. And I stupidly got rid of Tackle last episode, didn't I? And I was supposed to get rid of... I was thinking it was going to be Poison Powder. I was going to rid of and have Sleep Powder and Stun Spore. But silly me. A button happy just got rid of Tackle. It's not the end of the world. Tackle's not the greatest move, but... It would be nice to have a... A secondary attack for Butterfree, but... Oh, well. Growing nicely now, but when we edge closer to that um, level 20, it's not going to be so easy to... to get to. Not too sure if there are cell repels in the shops at the minute. Well, it's a deep consideration to be... to be find some if I can 
as soon as possible. Let's go venture. Let's not go venture. Apparently just the zoo bat cave. Does Magikarp know anything or is it just, no, just splash? No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope. let's not. No, I am able to obtain a moonstone from this cave, but I'm not going to be getting an Nidiqui in this episode. I want it to learn a few more moves at an earlier level. So if I evolve it into a Nidder Queen, the uh, the moves that it learns take a little bit longer. So I'll hold off. I'll I'll get the Moonstone in the cave, but I'll hold off in evolving the Nidorina into a Nidder Queen at the moment. Then she will be my HM Queen. Oh, oh. Good. No flashbacks of last, last episode. And a critical hit. Yes. Right. Nidorin is not going to be battling again in this battle. Yes, I'll switch back to Magikarp. A bit more switch training. Now I will swap for Charmeleon, aka Dragonite. Fire. And a quick scratch, just a uh, quick attack. Of course, she's using quick attack. I'm not going to be going back to the, the Pokemon Center out the, the the front entrance of um of the the cave because it'll just take too long. I'm just going to use potions. I've I've got enough. So and their HP gets low enough. I will I will um I'll just start using potions. I should only really need to use a maximum of one each. And the confusion should do the trick here against the Zubat with it being super effective. Wunderbar. Magikarp is level 8. It's the best 500 poker dollars, poker books, poker pounds, whatever you want to call them, you're going to spend in this game, that 500 is. The best you're going to spend. HP up. Don't use those sell them <laughs> I've always sold them they they do very minimal increases to the Pokemon's HP defense attack just sell them you get I think it's 5,000 for them each of those kind of items like iron carbos HP or PP up to sell them 5,000 each Weird position. Magnemite. Behind for Charmeleon again. I'm going to try and spread the XP out between all all three of uh, Charmeleon and Nidorina and Butterfree. So I don't want to over level them too much, but at the same time, it's not steel typing Gen 1, is it? Hang on. Yeah, I don't want them to get too highly leveled. So I guess getting half of the experience that they would be getting at this point. Um, okay. Magic up again. Even if it learns tackle, I'm not too sure what level it would learn tackle if it does. But I'm I'm not going to be using Magic Harp, um until it evolves at level. At level 20, this could be a mistake. Why did I bring it brutal free against a Voltorb? Oh, watch your ears. Eek. 
Hopefully the gameplay isn't too loud for that to be picked up drastically. But in my ears, it is brutal. I don't like using those until the levels get high and it takes a lot of experience to be to be getting them up a level so I'll keep hold of that I might put it into my box next time I get to a PC and just keep it until around about level 50 or so 50 or 60 and then um, use it use them then as the experience is um, you need a lot more experience when you get into that level than the more it's worth really so a rare candy best hold on to it in my opinion up until I rent read that level and down goes the cat I'm getting a lot of critical hits I have been the last few episodes I should come up level 9 oh it speeds 20 that's what I've I've thought speed was the bottom stat whereas it's special so I'm now less surprised that we're being able to get away from Zubat so Easily. Uh, let's go need arena again. And I won't mind a critical hit against this because if it keeps using hard and it's going to take the entire video to to defeat it. I don't know what the poison rates are in this game, but. I can't recall poisoning a Pokemon with Poison Sting. Quicker than anticipated, so I'm happy with that. And yes, we'll try it back to Magikarp, and I'll bring out Nidorina again for the final Pokemon of this battle. My eyes just couldn't read English then. Scrolling through, trying to find the name Nidorina. It's such a word that I do recall the first time we um, we poisoned a Pokemon with Poison Sing about ten seconds ago, and another critical hit. Did lose. Another one to be sold at the, the Pokemart. And now I'm not concerned about the ability to run away from a Zubat. Luckily, this is a relatively small cave in comparison to some of the caves in the Pokemon world, not just Kanto. Alright, I wonder what fire Pokemon I'm going to be using to defeat the Oddish. It's going to have Stun Spore, it's going to hit. Absorb. I wouldn't mind an Oddish or a Bellsprout. I still haven't looked at which of the two is in Pokemon Blue. And another critical hit. But I will take a look. Uh, yes. Uh, Magikarp again. Apologies if this is um, dragging the video a little bit, but it's a playthrough and this is how I play through. I'll, I'll skip the the wild battles as that is very very tedious. But trainer battles, I'll attempt to do all trainer battles, and I don't think it will be that often that I need to switch trainer Pokemon. Magikarp's a little special that way, should we say? Well, that's 
five levels it's gone up in 15 minutes. Oh dear. So now that it's just gone up, let's have a look at how much experience it actually needs. 399. So about 400 from 10 to 11. Ouch. TMO1. Let's have a look. Oh, you can't press up to go down. Mega punch. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I am going to head over to that very interesting, lonely looking rock over there. To, just to see if there is something hiding in it. Looking very dubious, that rock. Uh, Butterfree, I haven't used Butterfree for a, a little while. And we've got a super effective move in Confusion to use against Zubat. Which should take it down nice and easily. See, now this is a point if it is a a wild Pokemon, I'd attempt to catch it. And this is a point where I could do with Tackle as well. But some bozo deleted it. Okay. No, I'm not going. No, I'm not getting wrapped. I'm not going to sit here and watch my Pokemon getting wrapped. Sorry, Magikarp, but you're not worth that much of my time. I defeated I defeated the entirety of Rocket, according to Pokemon Blue. All right, little Rock. It's not necessarily hidden, but no, oh, I stopped because I thought you'd be able to see me. Nope. I came to seek Misty and defeat her with my wrath. Let's go Butterfree again. I don't feel like Butterfree's had that much experience in Mount Moon so far. I said that we've got through 11 confusions now, so oh, it's just so close to just being able to just. And again, tackle would be perfect in this scenario, but it is gone. Back to Magikarp. Just past 18 minutes for this video. And we will switch. Let's go Charmeleon this time. Charmeleon might need a potion soon. After this battle, definitely a, a potion for Charmeleon. I know I'm relatively close to the end, but I don't know. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I won't give Charmeleon a potion. It should be okay for at least this battle. And then what I'll do is just not use it again until we get out of. Out of Mint Moon. And I can see that Supersonic is as accurate as ever in this game. Oh. Every time I mention something like that. Alright. Don't hurt yourself. Just scratch. Yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are good. To proceed. No, is there an item? No. Uh, what about? Are there only Zubats in this cave? It, right, as in the wild battle. Surely it's not just Zubat. Just a kid, apparently. 
Hey, big fella. Job fill, water free. Just confusion. Flashbacks to Brock's gym. Yes, so I'll switch again. Gonna keep switch changing. And the magic up. Uh, no, I was gonna go need arena, but I won't. I'll stick with butterfree. Confusion again. And if it's another Geo dude after this one, I'll then switch to Nid Arena. Another crit two critical hits in a row. It's like on the new Pokemon games where if they love you enough, they'll um, higher chance of a critical hit. Onyx. I mean, Magikarp's gonna do well out of this, but. Let's go in arena. Let's just poison sting and scratch and tackle. I'm gonna do anything, but poison sting might, and I might even poison it again. Oh, critical, and it's not very effective. Oh dear. Oh, piercing. Like, can I just get the poison? If I can get the poison, that would be great. If I don't get the poison in the next two, I don't think I'm going to be able to defeat Onyx with Nidorina, and it'll just be a butterfree job again. Cause those tackles with the Screeches are going to do a lot of damage. Okay, new Screech once more, so I'm going to try and poison it once more. Any luck? Oh, yes. Now, how much damage does poison do? Not enough. Okay, Butterfree. <laughs> Out you come. Oh, I'm going to have to split the XP three ways now, but... Oh, well. I'm hoping it only takes one hit with the confusion, with it having only three quarter health left. Perfect. Put three had a good deal out of that. Ah, nope. Let me back. That's what I wanted. Another zoo back. Oh, let's run away from that as well. Gee, this is a a longer episode. As soon as I get out of the cave, I will end it there. Probably be an item up there. First, we have to fight a team a rocket. Technically, sir, adults should leave kids alone if you want to be technical about it. Right, experience for Magikarp and experience for... It's going to have to be the one... No, I'm going to go Butterfree again. I know that Butterfree's just got a heap of experience from the two Geodudes and the Onyx. But I didn't want to risk Charmeleon and that is why that was a lot. That's a lot of damage. And that is not a lot of damage. Uh, I'm gonna have to use two potions in a row here. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Risk, risk, risk. Risky, risky. Oh yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Right now, remember a few episodes ago where my Pokemon was asleep for about seven or eight moves. And this raticate's just oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. 
Charmeleon. I haven't got any voice either now. No! What? I am in trouble. I am in trouble. So it woke up from the first sleep. It's confused and it's constantly hitting me. I am in a whole lot of trouble. Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself. Yes. Come on, Nid Arena. Come on, Nid Arena. Come on, Nid Arena. Yes, critical hit. Oh, perfect time for a critical hit. Oh, dear. And I really don't want to be going back to... All the way back to that Pokemon. I don't know. Hey, for... Am I from... I don't think I'm that far, to be honest. I don't think I'm that far from the exit. And it's quite nice that I'm not get, get in any battles. Paris. Do I? Do I, don't I? Do I, don't I? I'll tell you what, I'll get... Well, the only other Pokemon that's not fainted out. And I will Poison Sting it. It's super effective. And critical hit. Oh. Great. Okay. Unless this is another Paris. <laughs> nah, it is. See, I don't think Poison Sting without the critical hit is enough to KO it. I don't think it is so. I'm going to go for another poison sting. Hopefully I don't get a critical hit. Oh, I'm wrong. Oh, there's another 100 experience for you, Magikarp. I am going to use a potion. Because if you've got another Raticate, I am in trouble. You know, I'm going to use another two. I've got enough. And let's go. Let's go! Oh, hail Lord Felix. Felix? Helix. I was hailing a Lord Cat. Uh, scratch. More than halfway to hit KO. Bingo. And a critical hit just to top it off. And a zoo bat. Yeah. Like I say, guys, this is a longer episode. If you are still watching, thank you for sticking around. And if you've watched this far into the video, sure you are enjoying it. So please leave a like and hit the subscribe button and put the bell on. Subscribe button and put the bell on. Uh, for all future videos on the Pocket Mark channel. And again, if you are watching this far into the video, thank you so, so very much. Your patience is a virtue. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, this is going to be a three hit KO. Unless I get a critical hit, which it seems to have been giving me a lot of recently. Risk it with a tackle. I shouldn't have risked it with a tackle. Stupid person. I believe we are out the, the cave soon. I've risked it with another tackle. Oh my god. What am I doing? And now I'm confused. What am I doing? I'm going A happy. Okay. And I hurt myself in confusion the first time. Ah, no. Oh dear. This could be over. This could be trouble. At least I'm confused no more. And hopefully... Yes. Well, at least I got my carp up to level 12 out of this battle. But I'm not going to be using Nid Arena for a while once we're at the cave. And I'm going to have to use another potion on Nid Arena. What's in that side? Nope. Anything there? Yep. Another moonstone. Yes, sir. Give me your fossil. I 
Grimer. Corp, corp. Again, Nidorina, job for you. It wouldn't be a job for you, it'd be a job for Butterfree. But that is not an option at the minute. Right. I knew it as soon as I knew as soon as I pressed that glitch we we're gonna hit. That's it. Disable the tackle, that's right. Oh growl, sure. <laughs> sure. I'm sure that the accuracy says a hundred. It, it's not there, is it? No, I don't say. I'm sure I'm sure it says accuracy for tackle is a hundred, but it's actually like ninety nine percent or something, ninety five. Yeah, I'll I'll keep going. I said I would. I said I'll keep going. So we'll keep going. Nice little extra long episode for you guys. I hope you're not. I hope you're happy about that. I hope you're enjoying it. Uh, dirty screech in my ears. And again, I hope that's not as loud as it is for me as it is for you on the video. Another, another one for Butterfree, this one. With a different sprite in Gen 1, with the eyes and mouth below the skull and crossbone, instead of the other way around. Don't you poison me. Thank you. Three hit KO. Four, maybe four hit. Unless I get a high roll on this one. No. Four hit. Don't poison me. Thank you. You will share. Lord Helix, come to me. Fine, take it. Didn't want anyone. We have escaped from Mount Moon. Thank you guys for watching. It's been a longer episode, so if you've stuck around for this long, thank you very, very much. Please do like and subscribe to the video if you are enjoying what you're watching. And like I say, put the bell on for any future videos that are coming out on the Pocket Mark channel. For now, again, thank you and bye!